GameStop stock might not be over yet. That monstrous move that we saw back starting on, I believe around May 9th, might still have some more upside. There, there, this might not be over yet. And the reason why I say that is because it's the same reason why I talked about it uh, 11 days ago, the day of the breakout was because, hey, we're starting to see a lot of volume. We're seeing a lot of excitement and euphoria come back into the market. Now, we don't want to be oblivious to all these buyers of GameStop who are trapped at these prices. So it's going to be harder for the stock to break $66 a share. Psychologically, this is a very important uh, lesson in how stocks move. So why am I talking about GameStop now after this stock has already dropped tremendously? Well, it's because Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who is an independent candidate for president of the United States, said he is investing $24,000 into GameStop, ticker symbol GME. He loves the idea of making this bad company support GME and the apes. We need a free and fair market. Let's punish predatory short selling to the moon. By the way, I ride with you and I'm not leaving. So for me to want to get interested in the stock, first, I have to identify my setup which is a big move with consolidation and then a, a breakout, okay? I had no idea Warren Kitty was gonna post a tweet that was gonna send this stock up 74% and then another 60% the next day, but based on how the chart looked, I was like, hey, an explosion could happen. Now, right now, I need to see some more consolidation and then another ex explosion could happen. But if you're not one for technical analysis, what you need to understand is that you need something to drive euphoria into this stock. What Robert F. Kennedy has just said is bullish. Now, this stock is gonna be kind of tied down to Robert F. Kennedy, the same way Trump is tied to DJT, okay? When Donald Trump is doing well, this stock is doing well. When he's not doing so well, hey, this stock might turn around. It might not do so well. So, not interested in DJT. But with GameStop, you, now you gotta understand, anything that possibly is good news for Robert F. Kennedy might be good news for GameStop. Hey, if he's bought some, he might buy some more. Oh, now there's a lot of support behind Robert F. Kennedy. Maybe some more people are going to be buying GameStop based off of his tweets. Therefore, pumping the stock even further. But again, you can't be oblivious to all of these sellers, all of these buyers who are trapped at higher prices. So ideally, here's what I would love to see for GameStop, for AMC, for any stock. Actually, so this is what this is what I would love to see. Okay, so with First Solar, I bought this live and I bought it right here. I'm not trying to veer off topic here, but it's relevant to how to approach stock. So First Solar had this really big move, okay? The same way GameStop had that really big move. Now it was starting to consolidate. As soon as it broke out, I got in at this price around this 201 level. And I'm currently in this. I'm hoping that this can have another big move up. And if you ever want to watch me trade live, know exactly what I'm buying, what I'm selling. Check out deadinside.com. But GameStop... Now, need, this is what I want it to do. GameStop needs to possibly consolidate. This chart right here looks crazy. Again, psychologically, we got to think about all of these buyers who are trapped. So here's how a trader like myself would try to approach something like this. So let's just pretend this stock starts going higher, okay? And then it's just doing this, it's consolidating. Boom, it has a breakout. Let's just say I have a resistance line here. As soon as it starts breaking out, I'm going to try to buy it here. Stop loss right underneath that circle. I'm out. So hey, if there's a big move, I'm going to ride the money on up. If it reverses, I'm completely out of it. You can take that and run with it with every single stock that I ever talk about. Barnes and Noble, this is something that is starting to get kind of squeezed here. I'm just seeing this for the first time today. This is up 83%. So I would like to see some sort of consolidation and maybe a breakout and bam, we get in it in our paper trading accounts, not financial advice and then we can set our stop loss at an appropriate level. And so here are the stocks that I bought today. You saw ticker symbol FSLR. I thought Novavax might do the same thing. Novavax had this big move here. It was kind of consolidating, right? Not the best form of consolidation, but this is an explosive stock. As soon as it started getting above this level, I bought it and I got stopped out. I already got stopped out, lost less than 2%, let's say. Then I bought ticker symbol CRS. Why did I buy this? Because it had a move here, had a breakout, right? Bought this and I'm still in it. Trade is currently working pretty well. WGS bought this stock. As soon as it broke out of this level, this stock ran 12%. I trimmed. Now this is a risk-free trade. I also got into ticker symbol VITL. 
this is a stock that broke out and yeah we're seeing we're seeing a good little move here also ticker symbol paas this one's actually the best moving stock got into it right here trimmed it look at this move having a great move up i think we're up Let's just say we're up 12% so far. But if you're one of these event-driven momentum sort of traders, whenever a figure, a public figure like Robert F. Kennedy talks about GameStop, yeah, you gotta, you gotta really watch it. Look at this bounce, look at this recovery. This is why GameStop is one to potentially put on your watch list. Again, I'm not buying it yet. I wanna get a really good risk to reward bet. That doesn't mean this won't go a lot higher, but it's all about being able to identify explosive stocks. And this might be a very, very hot summer for GameStop. Again, I wanna look for good risk to reward bets. If you'd like to know my instruction manual on what it takes for me to even identify these stocks within TradingView or any trading software platform, please check out deadinside.com and you can check out my introduction to swing trading. I teach you how to set a stop loss, how to trim, or at least how I trim. Again, not financial advice. It's all about how to lose money in this game. You can also watch me trade live. You can talk to me on the phone if you wanna do a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. Regardless, I'll try my best to keep you guys updated in video format. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys, peace.